trying to live life nah. fast Too much in this world I won't see Turn into a snake if a yeah. ride ever Try to pray on my cheese I just wanna stay on my peace Make a better way for my seed They don't never talk about me So I'ma get it poppin' yours I came up from nothing to something And now this shit bustin' I only do money discussions I came up from nothing to something And now this shit bustin' I only do money discussions People that die to me I'm screaming fuck them They used to complain that they can't even touch them I came up from nothing to something And now this shit bustin' I only do money discussions it's almost election time, and they doing the most to distract the mind. I ain't getting no taxes, they taking mine. Thirsty trap in the gram like a pick with thighs. Who the best in this bitch? No, they picking I. Cold, just like the 5th of December. I roll, just like a chicken that's irritated. Smoke the devil's lettuce, that's a hell of a fragrance. Cash. Whew. Yo, 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 yo. What's the word, sneaker herd? It's your boy, Law the Dragon. Back again with a review. If you guys like what I'm doing on this channel, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Yes, you've seen me two times today. Yes, I've changed clothes like I've been doing it a different day because I like to coordinate with the things that I'm going here talking about and stuff like that. That's why I got on the orange. I got on the orange Lord of Dragon. The collection, you know, it's a big Drago right there, you know. The collection, if you haven't shopped the collection, please do so. I got new merch coming out for the spring. It's going to be fire. I cannot wait. Also, I do have the Sneaker Herd merch getting ready to drop sometime in February. I was going to try to drop it at the end of the month. The end of the month came a lot faster. And they pushed back a lot of Jordan releases and things like that. So I wanted to kind of coordinate with some of the stuff. But they switched dates around. It's all cool. I'm going to get it out to you guys. I can't wait because I'm going to give away five free hoodies if you live in the U.S., International shipping is a lot of money. I'm sorry. I got something I got to send out to one of my guys overseas, and I'm going to send it out. I just got to get the extra bread to do it. I did not know overseas shipping was so much, and I do appreciate all my overseas fans. Like, I'm so fortunate. Like, I never would have thought that me starting YouTube that I have people in London and Germany and things that actually wanted to talk about shoes and respond back to me so you guys out there i do appreciate you guys i'm gonna figure out a way to get cheaper international shipping i'm working on it I actually just stumbled across the nice video on youtube that was telling me about like different shipping rates and stuff because i want to like continue to ship products out of state and out of the country because i've never been there it's very dope to like have people from different places even know who i am through youtube and like through music or even listen to my music as well and things like that. So I'm fortunate about that. I don't know about everybody else. Some people take that for granted. I'm happy about that because I'm originally a musician. You see by the intro and things like that in my videos. I make music. I love shoes. This is something I got back into and it's actually helped growing in both fields. So I'm fortunate for that. Enough about me talking. Let's get into the shoe. What we have is the Air Jordan 13 Starfish. Now, usually when people bring up the Starfish colorway, they kind of refer it to like the Shattered Backboard because that was the original first color blocking with that style coding and things like that, saying the Starfish colorway, and it led back to when Jordan broke the rim when he played on like a, uh, I think it was like a, right before he got to the league or something. I forget the history. I just like watched it like a couple months ago. But the history on the Shattered Backboard, when he actually like played in a little tournament, the colors like an orange, black, and white. He came, dunk, broke the rim. That's where it kept, got the name from, all that. It's iconic shoes. Shoes like $1,800. I don't have that type of money for it right now. I'm going to get me a pedal sooner or later. But the 13, it's just like the Lucky Green, just like the White Hyper Royal, where it has a white upper leather uh, black uh, paw print on the 13s. And it has the color blocking of whichever shoe it is. So this one, this is a, uh, orange. And I was on a fence about the shoe. I wasn't actually going to get it. I had uh, helped a few people get their shoe. But after going to go get their shoe first, and then picking up my shoe. Oh, man. Let's, before I even do what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and get to the box. The box is a regular 13 box. You know, nothing major. You've seen one. You've seen them all. Now. Remember, I was just telling you guys, like, some shoes I go down in size. This is definitely the first Jordan 13 that I've been smart enough to remember to go down in size instead of me getting a 9 and having to wear, like, a double sock or a thicker sock because my foot's skinny. But I got this in a size 8.5. I won this out of Jimmy Jazz raffle. Shout out to Jimmy Jazz. They've been coming through. I got my Jubilees from them, and I got this. Shout out to y'all. Last two raffles I did, 
I got them. I've been getting good with the raffles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, colorway reads white starfish and black. This is a size eight and a half. Like I said, if you wear Jordan 12s or 13s, you know it's a bigger shoe. Some people like to go down. I'm one of them people that like to go down and go for the eight and a half. Yeah, yeah. Open the box. Regular tissue paper, nothing major. Let's get into this beauty here. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. You know, this is the Air Jordan 13 Starfish. Now, a lot of people passed up on this shoe, and I was going to as well. But like I said, after seeing it in hand, it was just like, nah. I like 13s, man, from the Flint's um, Altitude 13s. That's like two of my favorite, all-time favorite pairs. I had them in college. I actually own both pairs now. I don't have my Altitude 13s with me. I still have to go pick them up from my boy, Welcome Creations. He's actually about to ship them to me. He just said that. He just said that because I, I need those in my cool gray lows. I need to prep myself for the cool gray highs. But uh, yeah, I like 13s, man. Ain't nothing wrong with 13s. It's a very comfortable shoe. Like, like that's the thing about my altitudes and my flint. I beat them, bro, because I like the, the comfortability in 13s is amazing, yo. It's just super amazing. You always get your nice, nice tumble leather up there. You see that nice and bends in, you know. Only thing that sucks about this pair that uh, they did to the Lucky Greens to make it a pop a little bit, they didn't give it any 3M stitching. So it does not have reflective stitching. Other than that, it's pretty cool. Got your orange Jordan right there. Hope he's focusing. Just jump in right there. The production date on these guys was, okay, it's that May 27th until August 3rd of 2020. Eh, three month process. Okay, okay. I don't know why. All they had to do was just take the Lucky Greens and just splash, 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 splash. Because that's all I'm going to do. I get me a pair of Lucky Greens. Like I said, I just uh, put up my video from earlier about me talking about my Winterized 4s. And they actually had some um, B-grade Lucky Greens in our outlet. But they were still trying to charge them their retail for me. And I'm like, nah, I'm not paying that much money for no shoe that completely bricked. I mean, people got it. A lot of people wanted the shoe, but... Even their B-grades, like the green, it's like an ashy green on the B-grade. So I see why they're B-grades. I'm not going to do nothing with it. But dye it. Take the dye it, maybe dye it a different color. But try to do something different, you know. Try to create something different. Um, Shoehorn, eight, eight and a half. Die cut sock liner. Nothing major for that guy there. Listen, 13 though. Super tight. I'm so glad I finally got a chance to get an eight and a half in these because man 13 be big man they, they, be, they don't be big but it's it's a bulky shoe so, and like i said i got skinny foot if it's not that eight and a half they don't fit snug and i put my foot in this it feels amazing it's just like how i did when i got my 12s my uh reverse flu game 12 i got an eight and a half in those and i like the way that feels way better than my nine it's just I, certain j shoes i just like it snug to the foot you got your orange starfish Whatever you want, going to call it. Burnt orange starfish with the black jump, man. Carbon fiber on the bottom. Panther eye. Paw print. You know, you've seen 113. You've seen them all. It's nothing nothing, nothing too crazy. But I feel like they were um, Jordan Brand thought this was going to be a big hit because they throwing the starfish on there. And for a long time, this was hyped. Not going to lie. When, these, when this color dropped, I think they dropped this colorway, and we th we knew about this coming, like around the time the Lucky Greens was like, or maybe a little bit before the Lucky Greens was coming out. I was like, oh, these gonna be so fire! And as the day got closer, it's just like the hype died down so bad for them. And yeah, I just I just wasn't gonna get them. But then, like I said, after seeing them in hand, I'm like, no, 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 it's gonna be a nice, perfect shoe. So when the weather break, and I want to throw on some orange. I got, a, I got the perfect jacket for it already. And I just thought about it like, damn, I got a jacket back for my birthday last year. And it's like Nickelodeon colors. And, you know, and Nickelodeon is orange and green and things. So, going to be perfect with this, yo. Like, I can't wait to bust out my spring jacket for that. Oh, I, I miss getting fly. I miss going out. 
I'm buying all these shoes because I can't wait to perform and go on tour. I just want to go out and step out and have dope kicks when I go perform and things like that, man. And just go walk around, yo. That's just... It's a self thing, you know? Nothing really to impress anybody or nothing like that. I just like gym shoes. It's something I grew up wanting, something I grew up liking. It's that. But other than that, you have the Air Jordan 13 Starfish. One more nice slow rotation. Yeah, 13, you don't really do no different laces or nothing like that. You know, just keep the white laces fire. Really appreciate the black sock liner. I'm a black sock person anyway. I like white socks usually when I get fresh shoes or if it's if I plan on having like shorts or something like that on. That's why usually when I go with the white sock or something. But yeah, man, I'm out.